Hello and welcome to Brand New Vegan. This is Chuck and today I'm doing something a little bit different. I was invited to speak to a local Northwest Veg potluck last night and I gave a presentation and I thought maybe you'd like to see it. So this is basically my presentation to them, how I got started, how I became vegan, how I started to blog, where I was, and basically how I got to this point today. So I hope it's entertaining, I hope it's informational, and if it is, please be sure and leave those comments. Each slide's about 30 seconds. So what do you do for a living? This is the question I get asked all the time by people I run into on the street that I'm either meeting brand new or maybe you know an old friend. Hey Chuck, what's going on? What are you doing these days? What do you do for a living? And I tell them, I'm a vegan food blogger. And they usually ask one of these three questions, if not all three. What's a food blogger? You make a living doing that? And why vegan? Of all things, why in the world would you go vegan? So these are my answers. So a, a blog is basically a website. So as a blogger, I manage a website, Brand New Vegan, which is about food. And I update my content, as you know, once a week. I add recipes, photos, podcast links, articles. This is called blogging. And I use social media, Facebook, Pinterest, Instagram, YouTube, whatever else I can find to spread the word, share my content. Question number two. You can make a living doing that? That's, that's a funny question. I think we all know who that young lady in the photo is. That's Reed Drummond, AKA the pioneer woman. She started her little blog in 2006 and today she is like a blogging superstar. And uh, yeah, ask her if we can make a living doing that. She is uh, growing a little empire, let's say. And the next slide will kind of describe that. Yeah, so she has her blog, which is worth millions. And she has her own food network show. She has a restaurant and a mercantile store not to mention a partnership with Walmart. She has her own instant pot for Pete's sake and the hotel and the ice cream shop. And it all started in 2006 with a little blog, her life on a cattle ranch in Oklahoma with her husband, Marlboro Man. Yeah, blogging has been very good for her. And the next slide, these are some other popular blogs you may have heard of, Engadget, Gizmodo, Technology blogs, Huffington Post, obviously, big blog, worth a billion. Smart Passive Income, my buddy Pat Flange taught me so much. Pinch of Yum, another one. I started, you know, following when I was uh, experimenting with the idea of a blog. She made $66,000 in one month. I mean, if I can do half of that, a quarter of that, I'll be fine. Ryan's Toy Review, he's seven years old, he made 22 million. Yeah, you can scrape by blogging. So why vegan? This was me, 2008. I worked in semiconductor industry. I was fat, I was broke, stressed, high blood pressure. I ate horribly. I worked nights and I smoked. That's basically a heart attack waiting to happen. I just closed down my computer store thanks to the recession. And uh, yeah, I was flat broke and very depressed and I had to do something. Now prior to 2008, I grew up on a standard American diet, just like a lot of you. Love McDonald's. I'm from Indiana. We had White Castle. Love burgers. Lived in Texas for five years. Got to love barbecue, chili. Love bacon. Grew up on sausage and gravy. Sausage, gravy, and biscuits, I should say. Um, I just basically love food. And, and don't forget the beer. Love beer, too. But all of that standard American junk food... It, it, it has a it has a price and that was me not a pretty picture and that blood pressure that was a accurate blood pressure and I remember calling the nurse's hotline one night and I asked her right before work how high does I need to be before I come in to see you and I remember she said now you need to come in now like right now so I knew I was in trouble and I knew I had to do something so Next slide. I started watching these. These are some of the older documentaries long before Forks Over Knives, long before What the Health. 
supersize me, food ink, process people. That was the very first introduction I had to Dr. McDougall and Jeff Novick. And I think I have all of these movies on my Amazon store. I'll put a link down below if you want to check them out. They're really, really good movies. They're older, but they're still very good. So after watching the movies, I started reading these books, trying to study Prevent and Reverse Heart Disease, Mind's Autograph by Dr. S. Thank you, Doc. Food Revolution, John Robbins, excellent, excellent books. Again, all these books are in my store. I'll post a link. Skinny Bitch. So many more. These are just some of the big ones I remember that I actually have a hard copy of. And so from the movies and from the books, you begin to learn who these people are. So I started to meet these people. T. Colin Campbell, Dr. S, Dr. McDougall, Barnard, Ornish. The guy in the bottom right, that's Craig McDougall. That's John's son. And he lives here in Portland. He was my doc for a while. Great guy, super, super nice guy. And I plugged him because he was the last speaker at this exact same Northwoods Veg potluck that I spoke at last night. So I knew they would remember him. So from these movies and books, I started cooking. And before I knew it, I had all of these recipes. My fries, my cheese sauce, my chili, which is what I took to the potluck last night. My tacos, my red chili. All of these have gone viral so many times. The bottom right, that's my succotash. It's not so much a popular recipe. I just like the picture. Very colorful. So with me cooking and all the stuff I was learning, I started walking every morning. I walked my neighborhood. And so I say in the slide with just a little bit of this, and it doesn't have to be walking. It can be, you know, if you got a gym membership, use it. You like to dance, dance. If it's just getting out in your garden and moving around, mowing the grass, the point of this slide is that you need to move your body just a little bit, if you can. So with a little bit of this, and a whole lot of this, and of course these are all potato recipes from Madougal. Thank you, Doc, for teaching me how important potatoes are. My puffs. I think I posted that same recipe this morning. Um, my smashed potatoes, my aioli, my french fries, and oh, of course the potato chips. So with a little bit of walking, and, and basically the point of the slide is a whole lot of eating right, eating the right foods. I was able to go from that. Well, that's a scary picture. But that was me. It's an accurate picture. And there's that crazy high blood pressure. So I have all these slides timed for about 30 seconds. So I'm just trying to fill in until the next slide pops up. Never done one of these, so I'm kind of learning as I go. But this is the exact same presentation I gave last night, so I'm not going to change anything. I was able to go from this and to this. That's today. In fact, I took that picture like maybe three days ago. And that's my accurate blood pressure, too. And as I describe in the next slide, I talk about Mary's Mini. And, you know, I've got links on my blog for that and the recipes. When I got through with 10 days of that, that blood pressure actually dropped even lower. I was like 104. It's crazy low. I've never seen it that low before. Pretty remarkable stuff. And there's why I talk about the Mary's Mini. You can eat green and yellow vegetables. You pick your one starch. Don't eat bread. Don't eat, you know, don't mix your starches. No booze. It's kind of hard for me. I like my beer. But after 10 days, I lost eight pounds and my blood pressure dropped to 104 over 76. Crazy, crazy low. So I know it works. And that's what was amazing to me, this next slide, is that you can lose weight just by eating. Isn't that crazy? You can lower your blood pressure by eating. Of course, you can raise your blood pressure by eating the wrong stuff. And of course, the docs tell us you can reverse heart disease, diabetes too. With food, no pills, no gym, no procedures, just eating the right food. And as you all know with my vlog, I don't give up anything. I still eat tacos, I still eat burritos, 
You just have to learn how to cook them a little bit differently. So then this happened. This was two, uh, 2013. I was working for a company. They said, surprise, we're going to merger. Half of you either quit or you're going to get laid off. I was 51. Who's going to hire a fat, broke, 51-year-old guy like me? It, it scared me. I wanted to share what I was learning. I had no idea what to do, so I started a blog. Because on the out chance, I might get lucky. Maybe one day, I can make a little bit of money that would hold me over until I got another job. So I created this. Brand new vegan. And yes, it is a registered trademark. That was uh, last year. Took a year for me to get that to go through. Yeah, 30 seconds per slide. I'll put some elevator music in here while we, while we wait. There we go. So I created this brand new vegan. And then I created this, the podcast, and this, the social media channels, and my eBooks, and now this YouTube channel. I'm still playing with, obviously, with this video, doing something a little bit different. And you might ask, you know, how did your family, how did your friends react to you with all of this blogging and going vegan and eating potatoes. Yeah, they, they, they pretty much did this. And I'm sure we can all relate when we tell people we're so excited, right? We've watched this movie. Oh my gosh, you're not going to believe what I learned. And you get a bunch of laughing. That's okay. I let them laugh. A lot of the people that laughed at me, they're still working in the same place. I'm not there anymore. So, I ignore them because this is what my readers did. And these are just some of the uh, testimonials on my blog. I love them. I got so many of these. They're in emails. They're in messages. I'll let you read through those. You know, my chili, of course, has won awards. Your blog has helped me lose 50 pounds and change my life. I mean, that's powerful stuff. Next slide. My mac and cheese, thank you. You are amazing. I love this one. We've been married 41 years and your recipes are helping me to keep my husband alive. I'm grateful. This is what it's all about, folks. This is, you know, I mentioned the million dollar YouTube bloggers and stuff. Yeah, that's great and all. I, I don't need to make that much money. I'm doing perfectly fine right now. Getting by doing what I love to do, this is why I do it. Keeping, making people healthy. And then there's this guy, Steven. I know, just probably too small a print to read. He had two heart attacks, started uh, going through a, a program through VA, found my website, and he basically credits me for helping save his life. That's all, you know, no big deal. He was actually just published in a medical journal of his story. Great guy, great guy, super nice. And uh, Stephen, you, you did good, bud, you did good. So with these stories, no matter how many people laughed, I just kept logging. I might have worked 13 hours the night before, I come home and I do something. I'd post something on Facebook, whatever. You know, my recipes are based on comfort foods. These are the foods I grew up with. That's what inspires me. Um, can I make that vegan? Constantly what I'm asking myself. My wife threw up her hands, gave me the entire kitchen when I told her I was going to go vegan. And, you know, regardless of all the stuff, I never gave up. I just kept at it. So why brand new vegan? Why the name? Back then, I was a brand new vegan. I wanted to share what I was learning, share what I was eating, which was mostly whole food, plant-based, no oil. I thought vegan back then meant diet. And I found out later it kind of means something else. But... To me, it's still the same. Vegan is diet to me, along with the animals and the environment. And I'll touch on that here in a second. And now I teach all the other brand new vegans. I'm not the brand new vegan anymore. So vegan versus plant-based, we've all heard the argument. The ethical vegans prioritize the animals, which is fine. Well, food plant-based people prioritize, prioritize the, their health, 
and that's fine too. Then there's the environmental issues. So all three are important. And I personally, myself, prioritize all three equally. I'm vegan for the animals, the planet, and my own personal health. Next slide. So why no oil? Another popular question. It's processed. 120 calories per tablespoon. The most calorie dense food we eat. It's basically stripped of all the vitamins, fiber, minerals. It's pure fat. It damages your endothelium. Read Dr. Esselstyn's book. It makes our arteries stiff. We don't need it. It's not an essential fat. It's processed junk food. That's all it is. So then you get asked, well, how do you cook without oil? And if you watch my videos, you see it's easy. What do we use it for? French fries? We use your oven. We use your air fryer. Sautéing? I use broth. You see it in my videos. I never use oil. What do you pour in your salad? Vinegar. Your taste buds really do adapt. They do. And before long, oily foods will start to taste oily, nasty. And you'll know immediately if it's got oil in it. So isn't eating plant-based hard? Not if you don't feel like you're giving up anything. And that's why I focus on the comfort foods. I still have pizza. I still have tacos. I still have chili. All the foods I loved. Your taste buds are going to change. Don't worry about the protein. It's in everything. Don't worry about the fats, the healthy fats. It's in everything too. Starches are going to keep you full. Just eat real food. As unprocessed as possible. That's the bottom line. And on my website, I've talked about my Back to Basics program. It's basically that. Eat food. Real food. If you're going to eat grains, keep them whole and intact. Remember, puffed rice is not really a whole intact food. Eat the brown rice with the fiber. Go easy on the nuts. Go easy on the seeds and the avo. Lots of calories there. Avoid the processed crap food. Drink water. And then move. If you want to lose weight, this will work. Guarantee it. But I don't know how to cook. That's why I have a YouTube channel. To try to teach people how to chop, how to cut, how to cook. I use my stove. I use my oven. I do have an Instant Pot. I don't use it all the time. I have an air fryer. I don't use it all the time either. I batch cook. I make big batches of chili and I eat it all week. And the nice thing about cooking at home, even if you make a mistake, it's usually still edible. And I've eaten a lot of my mistakes, trust me. But eating this way is expensive. It's not. Bags of rice are cheap. Dried beans, cheap. Frozen vegetables, cheap. You don't have to go to Whole Foods. You can get this stuff at Walmart. You can get it at Target. It doesn't have to be organic. Organic is better, but it's not required. It's not necessary. Start with what you can. And do the best you can. That's all you got to do. Bags of potatoes. Dirt cheap. Am I professionally trained? No. I have never been to cooking school. I'm not a doctor. I'm not a nutritionist, dietitian, anything like that. Everything you see on a blog, I've taught myself how to do photography, the podcast, the microphone, all of it. My only formal training is from ITT Tech in electronics. Crazy, huh? But, but I did take this course. So when people ask me this, I do have this. I am certified in plant-based nutrition from T. Cullen Campbell's course on eCornell. And I took that what, February 2017. So I've had it for a while. Anybody thinking of taking that course, I highly recommend it. It's very useful, very uh, full of information. You'll learn a lot, I promise. Kind of expensive, yes, but it's worth it, I think. So what do I do for a living? When people ask, I teach people everything I know about making a switch to a plant-based diet. I do it for the animals, I do it for the planet, and I do it for our health. And remember how I said if I was lucky, I might make just enough money to cushion me between jobs. Yeah, I was able to quit my full-time career of 30 years plus in 2017. So now this is my job. Great, huh? 
my blog receives 300 to 500,000 visitors every single month. Why do I do this? I do this to help people see how important our food is, to teach people how important it is to cook at home, take control of your health, get off the meds, help our planet, put it into factory farms. I mean, there's so many powerful, positive benefits from eating this way. So many. I do this to help people. And I'm vegan for the same reason. For my planet, I want to make sure this planet's in good shape for my grandson as he's growing up. I do it for the animals, for my health. I don't want to take pills. I don't want to have surgeries, bypasses, and stents. And lastly, but just as importantly, if not more importantly than anything else, I do my diet to keep up with these guys. Because these are my main reason why. Yeah, that's my little buddy. That's my wife, my daughter, and my grandson. They're my why. They're why I do this. And I can't think of a better reason. Stay as healthy as I can for them. So that's the presentation. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, hope you got something out of it. And if I ever get asked to do another one, I'll probably do something similar. Either I'll have somebody record it this time or I'll put together a slideshow and uh, share it with you on my YouTube channel. So that's it for the week. I have another busy week coming up. I have to teach a blogging class this Saturday, which also happens to be my grandson's birthday, turning big seven. So I'm going to be busy all week, but I'll see you on social media and we'll chat if I can. Until then, have a good week. This is Chuck from Brand New Vegan. Thanks for watching.